Is bed rest good for a bulging disc? Is bed rest good for a bulging disc? What a great question I get asked by many of my new patients that come in with disc bulge conditions, back pain related to disc bulge, when it's L4, L5 disc bulge or L5, S1 disc bulge, and even and especially leg pain or sciatica pain related to disc bulge in the lumbar spine. So we're gonna answer this question right now in this video. Hey there, it's Dr. Walter Slubra. I'm a corrective care chiropractor in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to my video and my channel. What this channel is about is giving you tips and strategies on how to stabilize and strengthen your back and also introduce you to structural corrective care techniques. Like this, you can bend, move, and lift normally and without pain limitation. So if you want these tips and strategies, do subscribe right now by clicking on that red button below, tap the notification bell, and do tell me in the comments below that you subscribed right now, and I'll personally reply back with a comment. Now, there are times when bed rest actually is useful, especially for someone suffering with the symptoms, especially the hard, painful symptoms associated with this bulge. But the one mistake that people do is that they extend that bed rest way too long. So I do tell patients to rest throughout the day when they're not getting their treatment, to take it easy, not do any aggravating factors like bending and pushing and pulling and twisting and lifting, or you know stop going to the gym and stop playing sports, doing the aggravating things that can possibly bring that disc injury even to a further progression. So we do wanna stop that. And you do wanna have some type of rest throughout the day. But the biggest mistake is doing bed rest all day long. Do not be in bed all day long. Do not be sitting all day long. You want to get up and move within your ability and tolerance throughout the day. So let's say you're resting for about an hour or two hours, then you get up and you go for a little walk inside your house or around your home for maybe five or 10 minutes. Even if it's painful, get some support, have someone help you, use a walking stick or a cane, get some support, but do get some mobility into your spine, into your legs, into your pelvis. Mobility is health. Spinal mobility equals spinal health. It may be a little painful, but do it within your tolerance. Don't do it too long, but it'll be more useful for you to break down the bed rest throughout the day with extra movement and mobility in your tolerable range okay so although bed rest is useful we don't want our patients to be doing it all day long or all weekend long especially in between their treatment sessions get out for a short little walk within your ability get your back moving get your pelvis moving get some blood circulating into your back and into your legs so do bed rest for a bit but not all day long now disc injuries is a big loaded topic i do have this really amazing video right here where you can continue your learning and what you can do is you can go ahead and watch that video right now, learn about the anatomy of this bulge, why it causes so much pain and inflammation, and you get four great exercises that you can do that may help alleviate some of that pain associated with this bulge. Go ahead and check out that video right now.